Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video. This is, again from Japanese Twitter, this is showing off some really cool armor for the uh, Core Gundam, which I really like the look of here. If we translate this tweet, you can see what the images are. Gundam Build Divers Rerise Dendrobium armor. So what we do is we take the Core Gundam, and we slap it in the center of the Dendrobium mobile armor, and we get this thing, and it actually looks real nice I like the close up here where we can see all the decals and the wear and tear on it but I can't make my mind up whether this is the SD version or not primarily because if it is then they've modified the barrel of the beam cannon here because it is so large I imagine the the cheapest way to do this would be just to edit the SD we can see it here in flight form and we've got the cannon on top we got what looks like the Jupitive booster there, and then we've got the leg like, armor either side, and then the containers underneath. I'm not sure that's the uh, the most aerodynamic way to store it, especially when it's flying. But just seeing the entire thing put together is really cool for like a space armor. I don't think it'd be able to fly in orbit, but. We've got the, the two giant containers, which look more like missile pods on its shoulders. We've got the eye field. And like I said before, this giant cannon, which, again, if it was the HG version, like the standard HG version that costs an absolute ton of money, then you'd imagine the containers would be a lot bigger. So, it's it's got to be a modified SD. The The problem with that is it's it's so well modified it's really hard to work out whether it is or isn't. I just like the way that the silhouette fills it out as well. It kind of reminds me of the Curios with the leg boosters that it has. I think it's the Curios. It's either the Curios or the Arios from Double O that have uh, leg boosters at some point. They don't use them in the show, if I remember rightly, but it's shown off in some artwork. Um, obviously, it's using the what looks like the Jupiter as a base, I say obviously, but that's only because it's white. I'm just looking at all the different armor pieces here. That's definitely the Core Gundam 2, because of the uh, the head and the chest piece. You'd have to, unless you were to respray everything, the easiest thing to do would be get the Jupiter armor for the arms at least. I'm trying to match up with mine here and see whether it's the same. I think these parts are repainted. So this might be from the uh, Uraven. Looks like the shoulders might be from the Uraven as well. I'm convinced that is the SD now. I'm convinced that's the SD and the rest is, is heavily modified. If, if you guys can spot whether this is the SD or not, then by all means put it in the comments section because I am, at this point, I, as you can tell, I'm clearly confused as to whether this is the SD, whether this is the HG, whether it's something else that I'm not familiar with. But, like, I remember owning the SD once before and the proportions were all out of whack, obviously, with it being an SD. And I've seen people extend, like, the barrel on the gun and stuff, but not the, the boosters on the back. It's the boosters that have me confused. Because the container definitely looks like the uh, the SD variant. In fact, I'd be able to check if... I was going to say if we look at the top because of the way that the SD one folds open. But no, it seems like that might have been modified as well. Because you can see these like spikes jutting out the front that I don't think are in there in the original. But yeah, it's a cool concept. I wish people would start creating more armor like this. Where it's references to other suits or different mobile armors and stuff from uh, different Gundam series. It's really cool and I just think that the Dendrobium armor matches it loads. Not just that but I'm a bit biased for the Dendrobium because as a mobile armor it is really cool looking. Anyway what do you guys think? I'll see you in the next video and I'll see you in the comments section. Bye!